Hidera Kurohir, Tensei Shitara Kandeshta, Episode 5. So, this time we have more Goblin Slaying, some level ups, full boss fight start. This anime keeps surprising me, full designs, stable quality, funny, and kawaii moments. So, a little recap of the start of the fight. Funny how Donadorondo <laughs> is like, what's happening here? Well, genius. You had a strategy meeting right outside the dungeon, so the goblin just say, Hey, they are just standing there, what if we attack first? Not very smart to have the meeting there, right? So, Fran went inside with Shisho, guiding her. She's cutting the crystals of the goblins with useful skills and leaving the others for the guild people. Nice skill harvesting. Shisho also showing us some new skills. Carpet bombing the goblins. It's always nice to have parallel thought or equivalents. Too bad Fran couldn't use it, at least for now, maybe. I like how Donatorondo is hacking goblins and the rookies are like behind you and he just grabs the goblin by the head and smashes it into the ground. No problemo. <laughs> I like Shisho's plan of, again, carpet bombing the small fry and have Fran kill the king and queen, but they couldn't handle the hit. <laughs> and they die with the small fry. Now Neko is sad because Shisho stole her prey, but I like how she cheers up when they figure out there is still the dungeon master. They go through a door and they fight some bugs for half an hour. I like Shisho's strategy to stop them in place with the telekinesis. A little disappointed that it took him that long to realize there was a leader summoning more. But okay, they are both pretty new at this. There is another door after that, but they felt some strong presence. So Shisho does the great Ains <laughs> and starts buffing Fran with lots of stuff. And they enter the next room. I like the room here. Not bad. And we have the big demon boss. I was wondering if he has to obey the goblin. And nope. Looks like he doesn't need to. The goblin was talking too much and being annoying. So the demon made a warning shot to his feet and told him shut the fuck up. The fight was pretty nice. Lot of movement. Full designs for the demon and the sword. Nice effects. And like I said before, it keeps surprising me. What the fuck? Neko got the hands chopped off. What? <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. I mean, yeah, some injuries, some tension, but not the Neko losing some limbs. Shisho acted very well there, protecting her and healing. I like the demon using that shadow movement skill and then the secret technique. But come on, Shisho, you didn't expect this? Kind of reminded me of Dusk Taker. I wonder if she could have avoided that or Shisho do something. It kind of took them by surprise. But seriously, you saw it with the appraisal and it was quite self-explanatory skill. Shisho should have been prepared. And now things got a little more complicated. Really good episode. Lots of fighting, lots of movement in the fight. And I said it before, I thought it would get the generic Isekai treatment, low animation, lots of still images, kind of low budget anime, but it's been surprising, really good. And looking forward to next episode, how the fight ends. So that's it for now. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, leave a like, a comment if you want, and see you in the next one.